Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, I thought today's video would be a fun one to do because my husband is absolutely obsessed with protein balls. Like every time I make them or have just made them, he's like, Are you making another batch soon? When are you gonna make more? Are there more in their fridge? Like he is just always asking about protein balls and they are so easy to make and I mentioned them in my Last video, my like favorite paleo meals to make, and these ones were by far my favorite ones, like taste, texture, all that stuff. So I figured I would take you along and just like quickly show you how I make them. I adopted a recipe from Pinterest and kind of made it my own and added a few ingredients and stuff like that. So I will show you some little tips and tricks. And then for a little fun thing, I'm going to make them into little Valentine's hearts and surprise them for my husband. So that is what we're doing today. Let's get cooking. Okay, first step is one cup of nut butter. Today I'm using partial peanut butter because I have a little bit left in this jar and then the rest I will just use with almond butter. I always love doing a mix of nut butters when I make these protein balls because I just think having like that variety of flavor tastes so much better. Another pro tip to using a nut butter would be chunky so then you can like really have little bits in the batter but I don't have chunky so. <laughs> All right, so that finished out this jar of peanut butter. So then I'm going to just use the rest in almond butter. One cup is a lot, so it's like I'll probably just use up the rest of what's in here too. Next, I'm using a third a cup of honey. Usually I would use a higher grade quality honey like Manuka or something because these balls are supposed to be really high quality. Um, just something to really give you enough energy, but this one is organic, raw. It's a good enough honey for right now. I am all out of Manuka. And in place of this, you could also use maple syrup. A lot of times I use maple syrup as well because it's more liquidy. I like to keep a spoon handy so I can just really go in there and get all the goods. Okay, and then I'm going to mix all this up first because I feel like when you mix your wet ingredients first before your dry ingredients, things just tend to tend to go a lot smoother than when you're trying to like mix everything all together and it's kind of getting clumpy. So you're better off to mix your wet ingredients first and then put in the dry. Okay, next is half a cup of protein powder. I love this recipe because I really feel like I want more protein in these protein balls than just the protein from nuts. So I love that it does a pretty heaping scoop of protein powder and I love to use just like a very simple flavor like vanilla or unsweetened all that good stuff so that way you're not really like messing with the flavor of the protein balls too much. All right next I'm going in with hemp parts and I am just using this fourth a cup that I have. Usually I'll do like a third of a cup but I will just like do a little bit extra on a fourth a cup and add that in. Then you're going to want to do some shredded coconut. It adds like a nice little bite in there and again I just do like a heaping fourth cup okay this is where the goods happen so I love to add a little bit of cacao powder and a little bit of cacao nibs I personally love more of a chocolatey protein ball than one that just tastes like peanut butter um, I just think it gives it another dimension of flavor so I will add maybe like a teaspoon and a half of cacao powder. And then the same goes for cacao nibs. It adds like such a nice little crunch in there and I just added like two tablespoons. Okay, this is the hard part is mixing it all together. Sometimes you need to go in with your hands. I'll try to show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like and I'm just trying to mix it all together. At first, it looks like these will never form protein balls, and trust me, they will. <laughs> you just kind of have to mold them a little bit. And it is finally time that we need to go in with our fingers. Take off my rings. Put this to the side. Roll up my sleeves. Oh God, 
Did anybody just see that? My ring just fell in there. That could have been dangerous. <laughs> and now I'm just going to, so the batter looks like this. It's a little, you know, it's not like forming into balls and it's just because you need to go in with your hands and really like get all the goods in there. So I am just scooping, mixing. If you find they're not forming at all and you've just got way too much dry powder, um, to wet ingredients, then what you could do is either add a tablespoon of coconut oil, which is my preference, or you can add a little bit more of um, maple syrup. So if you used honey, honey's a little stickier and syrup is a little more like liquid. So sometimes if you use the maple syrup, these turn out perfect. And then sometimes when you use honey, you need maybe a little bit more wet ingredients. So. Just go off what you feel, but as you can see, like they're already like forming into the ball consistency that I want. You might just have to get your hands dirty. Now the consistency is like this. It's just like one big thing that I can break off and like form into little balls, which is perfect. Um, that's kind of the consistency you want. You don't really want it like falling apart. You need to be able to form it into little protein balls. So if your, your end piece looks like a piece of poop, then you have made it and we're ready to start rolling. So I'm going to show you if you are at home making these not for Valentine's Day, what you would do. So I just have the shredded coconut bag and I'm just putting it on a plate like so. And then I would just take a little piece off this ball. So just, just grabbing a piece and you would just roll it in your hands till it makes a little ball. So I'm going to make Valentine's ones, but if you're not, then this is what you would do instead. So just like gently roll them into balls. Um, they might fall apart on you because there's cacao nibs in there and stuff like that. But if you just kind of mash it all together and roll it up, what I like to do before putting them in the thing is then I just have the little bit of coconut on here and then I just roll them in the coconut and it makes this like really beautiful protein ball. As you can see, now you have like a really cute little eatable ball that looks a lot fancier than if it was just a rolled up piece of brown stuff. So that is what you would do if you're making these regularly and I'm going to make them into heart-shaped things now. So I'm just going to lay down a piece of parchment paper that I can work with um, because they're going to need to be molded a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do is do like a decent sized one because Mark always has two balls at the same time. So if I think if I just make one the size of two, that will be easier for him and me. Okay, so I kind of rolled it up and then smushed it a bit and I'm just going to form it into a heart. This would be a whole lot easier if I had a heart <laughs> cookie shape, but I don't, so we are improvising. All right, I think that looks pretty good. And then if you want, you take a little bit of that coconut and just top it on top. <laughs> Cute. All right, they're not my best, but I think it's the thought that counts. Anyways, I made a few like that and then I made the rest like he prefers them. So, you know, I just thought it was a cute little addition and I think they look great, you know? Uh, that one, not so much. This one's the best one. And we've got the OGs right here. And here is the final thing. I got this beautiful plant at our grocery store and it had this cute little Valentine's bow. I've got my card. He loves candles. We're opening a bottle of wine. And then he's got his little heart-shaped protein ball cookie things that he loves. So just a small thing that you can do for your significant other that shows you put in an effort, but you don't have to go crazy and get a big gift or anything. So I'd say that's a success.
All right, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you make these protein balls. They are so easy and delicious and like the perfect mid-afternoon snack, pre-workout snack, midnight snack, you name it. And they're just like so healthy, minimal ingredients, and yeah, just so good for you. So if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will leave a link above or below with other easy meals you can make like this that I have on my channel. Bye, guys.